Hi, welcome to New Anatomy in 60 Seconds. Today we'll talk about the anatomy of the anterior cranial fossa. So the anterior cranial fossa is bounded anteriorly by the frontal bone and posteriorly by the lesser wing of the sphenoid. So you can see a tooth-like projection here called the anterior clinoid process. Anterior clinoid process. And between that there's a groove. There's a depression here called the sulcus chiasmaticus. Now going midline, you can see this perforations here called the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. And then anterior to it, there's a, a tooth-like projection called the crystal galli. And a, an elevation of the frontal bone called the frontal crest. So the frontal crest together with the crystal galli forms or provides attachment for the fox fibre. You can also see a depression here, which is a foramen. It's called the foramen cecum. Cecum means blind. So sometimes referred to as the blind foramen. And this foramen transmits the emissary vein. You can also see these depressions here, which are caused by impressions from the circles and the gyri.